Hey guys, this is Cisco. I'm here at the Beer Brand Campus and I'm getting rid of this mullet today. So again, this is just uh, starting off with a five. Yeah, see, I saw you started doing more uh, videos, was it in Philly? Yeah, Jake the Barber and Andy and who's the other girl? Sasha. And then uh, who's the other dude? Justin. Justin, yeah. Yeah, but Justin's like the, like one of the main guys, right? The, guys that's, the, the guy that's coming out here? Jake is. That's Jake. Mm -hmm. Dude, there goes the mullet. Chachi's crying right now. I know. <laughs> it took me a long time to grow that. How long did you grow it out for? I, I started in May of last year. And then I was working with Chachi to kind of have it look cool throughout the whole way. I lost Chachi, so I'm <laughs> losing the mullet. Who's cut your hair there at the, the shop besides uh, Chachi? A few years ago, I had art uh, cut, yeah. and then of course, uh, does he go by Mike or Michael? Mike, yeah. Yeah. And then um, the dude with a good beard, is it Barrett or? Oh, Barrett, yeah. Um, he's done some work. So I've had a few, a few of the shed guys. Have and you ever been out to the other location, the south location? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's where I used to go before they opened up the hallway. Mm. Um, but once they opened up the hallway, I started going to Chachi. I don't think I've had my hair this short in a long time. Probably since like 2009. It actually looks really good with the bigger beard. Yeah. I was having a conversation with uh, one of my uh, coaches from my gym. Cause he's starting to grow out his hair and his beard and he's like, oh man, I just need to like clean up my beard, but it can never be like long hair, short beard. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You look weird. <laughs> How do you make sure you don't like leave behind any like longer hair as you do that diagonal? Just back and forth. Yeah, just kind of like go around with the uh, clipper as all different directions and I'll do, I'll do like the comb first with and then follow with the, the clipper just to pick up any hairs mm -hmm. and do this. And what about like dry versus wet? It's always better to do it dry. Yeah, when it's dry, because when it's wet, I mean, there's clippers that are able, like pivot uh, uh, clippers, pivot motor clippers that are that can cut wet hair, but it's better when it's dry. Right here in this section where you have your cowlick, mm -hmm. it's going uh, against it, against the growth pattern just to get it nice and and even. Yeah, I kind of have like the styling products from this morning too. I saw a little slip on the hair. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Yeah. Like a Yorkie, like lost its, <laughs> lost its coat. I'm starting off with the the fade here with the half. This would be more like a an exaggerated taper, if you will, just kind of go right behind the ear, just to still give it that that mullet ish. <laughs> And I would say blonde hair is definitely the easiest to fade, just because you can. I feel like not necessarily hide mistakes, but you can. It blends a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But you got to give yourself enough space to blend the transition. Otherwise, 
the uh, like the darker area looks a lot more darker than it should. Mm -hmm. Just having like that spacing right. Just taper some of these longer hairs out here, just to make it easier whenever I go and edge them up or clean them up around the neck. I'm gonna leave the uh, back a little more natural, Eric. Cleaned up, but not super, super sharp. Just to add on to the the messy look, but but kept. This is essentially just the same steps repeated. Right? The same steps repeated, yeah. So I make my, my guide with a half, and I create my my fade area with a two, two and a half. Remove some of the bulk, and then go in there and just blend the, the half into the two. What are you generally looking for when you're, you're doing a fade? I'm um, looking to, or like, I guess the, the best uh, way for me to describe it is just like contrast. Like looking for nitpicking uh, dark spots within the the space that I cleaned up with the two. Mm -hmm. Just working up and but always always kind of like working down and up. Just trying to find those or oh, getting rid of those dark spots. And those those dark spots can happen because of like just bumps in the head or bumps. And I mean everyone has. Uh, Hairs that grow in bunches mm -hmm. and one in, in certain spots of the head, so kind of looking for those. How long did it take for you to, to really get good at fades and we felt like you had a good grasp on? Man, I, mean, I had like an understanding of like of the contrast and creating light to dark, but and I would say Probably a year from when I started in 07. Like by 08, I was already doing a lot of a lot of fades, mainly a lot of fades. That's all there was to do in <laughs> that summer in Houston after yeah. freshman year of college. What what kind of work gets you excited? Like what kind of haircuts do you like working on? I would say haircuts when a client kind of gives me some some parameters. Yeah. But they're like, they're just, you know, like barber's choice after that. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do. I think those are always awesome. Any any creative work, instead of like, oh, just let me do a two on the sides and a trim on top. Those are pretty boring, and pretty yeah. standard. Now, why are you doing poker over tongue versus a guard here? Just to... It, it just it's just faster like after the mm -hmm. two or three just to like blend any any lengths in between the five and the, the two or three mm -hmm. just easier and just kind of gives me a little more control as far as like if i was doing like scissor over comb just like my sections yeah and i can switch from like doing this to tapering the the, the neck pretty pretty fast And I'm just cutting those those bad wings here. Make it a little more uniform with the beard. Well, that's the hardest part to see when you're <laughs> doing it yourself. Yeah, doing it yourself. You just at least I can't ever seem to find it. Now that I got the uh, the length on on your with your hair, I'm just gonna wet it and kind of set it back here with the blow dryer in a bit before I go in there and do some texturizing. I'm 
I'm just gonna go and just with the shear, just do uh, any cleanup that I do that I that I see, any long hairs that I miss with the clipper, because that's an obvious possibility. So what's your technique here? This is just following the, uh, adding some texture, just going front to back and literally just getting the ends for that texture. Are there different tech, uh, texture, shiz tex texture scissors or are they all pretty much the same? No, they're, they're a little bit different. Like the ones I'm using right now that you see kind of like the spacing, it's mm -hmm. even more, gives you more of an uh, aggressive uh, sh uh, texture. Okay. The other ones that have like the uh, thinner or more close or a lot more teeth or more for like blending. Okay. Like softening up lines, but these is, this is definitely more for, for texture. Okay. Definitely cut the, uh, above the, above the comb and not under, because we're not trying to take any like weight, but rather texturize. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a, an important rule of thumb to take weight out it's under the comb to texturize is above the comb but yeah these parts you definitely don't want to i don't want to texturize and make uh thinner if you were uh -huh. just because they, they don't have as as much density as the middle that way it doesn't look like you have like two uh <laughs> two bald spots in the back and on this side here with your calyx, since it's going this one, I'm gonna go against it just to give some nice texture in there. I used to cut my own hair and uh, I just took it too all the way around. those days but a little bit nicer yep and that was back in uh, in Washington right no even before that yeah and uh, Charlotte North Carolina The uh, the sea salt spray, the little styling bone. Yeah. You want to stick with the sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's do old money styling bone. Old money.
right, guys. Your biggest organ, you know, your skin, it deserves a little bit of treat. Head over, grab the utility bar, take care of your skin, take care of your beard, take care of your hair, and use it to shave if you need. Beardbrand.com, go and grab a little bit of heaven in a bar.